Welcome to the Sierra Nevadas, the gateway for your Sierra adventure. Today we're starting out our video in Nevada City. In today's video, we're going to continue our trek up the Golden Chain Highway, Highway 49 that is, uh, made famous for the gold during the California Gold Rush. Um, and if you remember in our last video, we stopped at a place called uh, Coloma, and we showed you a pretty cool ghost town and some nice sights. And today we're headed up to uh, Goodyear's Bar and a place called Downeysville. We'll tell you more about that when we get there, uh, but for now, hop on board and, and enjoy the ride. Before we head out though, I wanted to just kind of point out this motor court we're staying at. It's called the Outside Inn. Uh, it's a beautiful place, it's kind of picturesque. Reminds me of the traveling to the, through the Catskill Mountains in the 70s. Uh, you don't really see places like this anymore. Everything's kind of corporate. You know, Holiday Inn, you know, the Hilton and, and, and places like that, Marriott. So you don't really get the flavor. Uh, but here you get a really good sense of, you know, the, this picturesque area, these mountains. So we'll, we'll just take a little panora panoramic view of this place and uh, let's check it out. You guys check this out we stopped along the way on, on highway 49 looks like it was probably an old stable an old barn or a garage of some sort it's kind of cool this is just the just the perfect the kind of stuff you're going to run into along the, the highway here just some old structures kind of cool That's water running nearby. We're gonna go on down and see if we can check out this river. So along Highway 49, you can find a lot of hidden gems, sort of like this river we've stumbled across. It's beautiful. Goodyear's Bar, the site of historic mining camp uh, dated back to 1849. Mostly it was about a lot of Chinese miners here. I think in the day it was probably about 400. It's a beautiful spot. Check it out. Let's, uh, let's check out the scenery. All right. Well, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. We're going to kind of take a walk around here at Goodyear's Bar. Check it out, see what it has to offer. I mean, this is, this is a beautiful place. Anna, do you think you could like work here and enjoy it? Well, absolutely. I know, I mean, the, the miners here, they probably had a hard life, but at least they did have some beautiful, beautiful surroundings to work in. But I would probably imagine the winters are probably harsh. You know, so we're, you know, we're really not too far away from, uh, you know, Donner's Pass, the Donner Party. Uh, you've heard about that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. yeah, that didn't end well. So in this area, Good, Goodyear's Bar, it was discovered uh, by a man named Andrew Goodyear. He was the guy that kind of found the gold in the area. And because of his discovery, hundreds of miners flocked here to this area. Very picturesque, very picturesque. Ooh, almost got hit by a bug there. Anna doesn't like the bug, she's back there. <laughs> so these towns, you know, they. They lasted for a couple of years, uh, like most mining towns, you know. 
They called it the gold rush. Everybody rushed in from all over the world and all over the country to grab their piece of gold, their piece of glory, so to speak, you know? And uh, once all the gold was excavated, it left. And really that's all that's left a lot of these mining ghost towns along the Sierra Nevada or Highway 49. There's just a lot of towns that are really just tourist ghost towns now. And there's no more gold. There's just trinkets that, you know, these towns sell and attract tourists, sell t-shirts, open up a brewery, you know, get people to come on in and check out like kind of the old relics, the old buildings. So it's just beautiful here though. I tell you, I can live here. How about you, Anna? Could you live here? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so what is, what's your thought of this, Anna? What do you think of this uh, good year's bar? It's very peaceful. Yeah. Right by the river. I know. I like the street here. Kind of cool. We're the only ones making noise. That's right. No, it's Monday morning. It's rush hour. <laughs> Right behind me here, we got the old steam engine. It's cool. Right outside this little museum here um, area, they've got set up for you know tourists that pop in over, pop on by, and check it out. I mean, it's a Monday morning here, middle of May. Uh, we're the only ones out here, me and Anna. It's, it's gorgeous, perfect way to spend a Monday morning. What do you think? Having a good time? Okay. The the question is, are you guys having a good time? Are you enjoying the journey so far? I mean, are you liking what you see? If you are, you know, come on, hit that button right there. It's small, you can see it, it's in the corner there. But hit it. Walking down the street a little bit further here. I think there's a few more structures I can show you. bar I'm liking it shell this is way back before gas was 750 a gallon in California so if you're ever traveling through the Sierra Nevadas or down highway 49 make sure you stop at these little places places like this are kind of hidden away I mean we actually had to find this place it was not I mean there was a sign that said where to go but uh you wouldn't know it you would just blow right past this place uh, so do your do your homework Investigate before you go out on the road. So I'm standing in front of the St. Charles Hotel. It was erected in 1852. Well, considering gold was found here in 1849, so it probably took a couple years to get this thing built, and then it was up and running, and it would house the people who would come to the area. I don't really think you had tourists back then. You just really had people that were working. So with any visitors that may have come to the town. So this is the spot. This was a hub of activity. More than 400 people lived in this town at one point, but now it's just down to a population of 68. So 68 people. So does it make it a ghost town? I mean, it kind of is in a sense. I mean, it's just not a lot of people around. It once was booming and now it's just down to just a handful of folks. Um, I'm going to call this a ghost town, even though it's just not, you know, a lot of runes uh, and nothing happening. But I, I would say it's a ghost town. So we're going to be careful as far as where we walk around around here because this guy says he's got firearms and a backhoe. I don't want to be part of that. So since we're 
somewhere inside the museum here. Unfortunately, it's closed. Maybe they're not open on Mondays. But I'm going to wrap up this portion of the video here at Goodyear's Bar. Um, in front of the school, the museum. It was built in 1862. Uh, a long time ago. So, uh, but anyway, we're going to head on down the road, up uh, back down uh, Highway 49 to Downeysville. That's supposed to be a bigger, uh, bigger place. So we're going to check that out. So stay with us. Mm -hmm.